The most challenging conjectures to prove or disprove have become the most enduring. There's something about the challenge to solve some of those seemingly impossible conjectures that ignites the aspiration of our spirit. For example, a long-held conjecture claimed that a fourth power could never be written as the sum of three other fourth powers. The first counterexample that was found involved a number of 30 digits. You could say mathematicians get a little crazy with this stuff and the need to find mathematical proof or a counterexample. But like most challenges, new ways of solving problems and serendipitous surprises are discovered along the journey. Our goal for exploring inductive reasoning has not been to drive you to obsession with one of the great unsolved conjectures. Our goal is to introduce the use of reasoning to help you with decisions about your future, the futures of people you care about, and the future of your planet, and to give you a sense of what things cloud our ability to reason well. With so much uncertainty about tomorrow, the only glimpse we really get is to follow the patterns and trends we observe. Better reasoning will help us hit the target. Most of life's important decisions will not be easy and can't simply be put into an equation or Googled. Let's apply our inductive reasoning skills in the following examples. We can study the history of investments like real estate or stock prices and form our conjectures about the trends. A common conjecture is that home prices will always rise. Over a long time horizon, real estate has certainly been a good investment, but there are many counterexamples to this conjecture in the shorter term. Or the latest hot stock. The internet is ushering in a whole new category of retail investors looking to capture huge gains by high frequency trading. This type of activity is more akin to gambling than investing, but it is an exploding trend. Hyped up companies go on violent stock swings for no real good reason, except that the trend is up. Investment hysteria has gripped investors many times in the past. A once great Canadian tech company called Nortel had a frenzied run in 2000 as investors piled into the stock, climbing forever higher. Until it didn't. The stock plummeted from over $800 a share to near zero in a very short period of time. It is usually those last of the party that catch the downward trend. Then, there are boring old utility companies to invest in like Fortis BC. Their shares have never experienced the explosive trend of a Nortel or a Tesla, but the company has slowly increased in value over time and has increased its payout, called a dividend, for loyal shareholders for 46 years in a row. The odds are pretty good they'll continue to raise the dividend as their share price slowly appreciates. Although gambling can generate some short-term excitement, we need to carefully evaluate possible investment patterns to help us make reasonable decisions on how to deploy our hard-earned money. The global warming debate offers another good example of how patterns can impact decisions. There's an incredible amount of research that shows possible global warming patterns, average temperatures and CO2 levels, disappearing glaciers and rising seas, more extreme weather patterns, etc. However, despite a great deal of credible evidence, the complexity of global warming means it's hard to prove, which creates the opportunity for counterexamples for those seeking them. What we decide about the trends we observe can impact our decisions. So maybe we'll speak up for the planet, or change the way we vote, or look to reduce our carbon footprint. Or do we conclude global warming is not a real concern? Many global issues meet surprising resistance from a surprising number of people, regardless of the patterns and science behind them. With so much information at our fingertips, separating fact from fiction or opinion has never been more critical. Great care needs to be taken to evaluate and respond to what we encounter in a reasonable and responsible way. 
many patterns and trends we study to try to gain advantage, like investing or health. But we also need to study patterns so we can protect ourselves. Our ancestors tuned into patterns in nature to survive. We need to pay careful attention to the patterns of the digital jungles we find ourselves in. Being aware of how technology is altering our patterns of behavior, for example. Or giving criminals so many new avenues to steal. We have to be constantly on guard for the patterns of the latest digital thieves and predators. The internet has opened up so many positive avenues but also opened up opportunity for malicious behavior as well. An infamous scam you will likely encounter is some kind of Ponzi or pyramid scheme. The jest is that someone, a promoter, convinces investors to put in money. New investors give money to the original investors, creating the illusion of a good investment. More new investors join in from the bottom until the scammer has enough money to walk away, leaving most investors with nothing. This is similar to the stock frenzies we just introduced. Like chain letters, these pyramid patterns wear many disguises and even show up in businesses that are legally set up. But when you scratch the surface, you see the pattern of a pyramid, although they are adamantly promoted as multi-level marketing businesses. The common theme here is that if something sounds too good to be true, it likely is, and needs to be approached with a certain degree of caution. Whether we are aware of it or not, we are continually using inductive reasoning. To pack a suitcase for a trip, you might study weather patterns about your destination. A city might use population data or driving patterns to help to plan for tomorrow's needs. You might start scrutinizing patterns of behavior to help you decide if someone is worth building a relationship with. The application of reasoning should be helpful in making decisions or predictions. Often we need to combine various patterns as we did with global warming, or as you would with something like career exploring. You should consider technological, environmental, economic, and social trends, so this decision is not being made blindfolded. Ultimately, it is hoped that as your skills to evaluate patterns grows, your ability to make meaningful decisions well too. Important life decisions relating to your future should not be left to chance. Finally, consider the possibility that we now have access to too much information. Our distant ancestors' lives were not burdened with details. Find enough food. Avoid being the food. Their world was pretty black and white. However, for us, technology's reach may be moving faster than our ability to adapt to it. A pattern likely to continue as we've moved from stories painted on cave walls to being globally connected. Calvin sums up our conundrum. The more you know, the harder it is to take decisive action. Once you become informed, you start seeing complexities and shades of gray. You realize that nothing is as clear and simple as it first appears. Ultimately, knowledge is paralyzing. Being a man of action, I can't afford to take that risk. You're ignorant, but at least you act on it. Calvin's struggle is the one we all face. The layers of complexity keep being added, and our decision-making gets ever more challenging. But we cannot walk away from this responsibility or plead ignorance. The need for good reasoning has never been more critical to our survival as we sift through the sea of information that both enlightens and confounds us every day.